My name is Muhammad al Kurd and I'm 17. I live in Jerusalem and I aspire to be a writer. And these are my poems. This poem is called Air Strikes and Cookies. In a circular room they sit. You vote, you gamble. Do you think that the sun is waiting for your permission to rise? Just another spring for the Arabs. And your rockets are the soon to blossom seeds. In a spherical room you sit. You're always sitting. In the world of suit and tie, it's always about the seat. Air strikes and cookies. That's what we're having for breakfast. The black suited white man probably held a cup of coffee and casually talked about the same old cycle. Go to war, dig graves, dig a hole in the rich ground so your wealth can get filthier, literally. 397 hands were raised. Thousands of lives will be buried, and then you will hearteningly send out your prayers to those whom your hands have killed. I began with just questioning taboos in the Arab world with my poetry, and, it, and to me it, it was easier and safer to me to explore these things that I question through English language rather than Arabic language. Because in Arabic I'm exposed, I am, you know, people are going to say things about me and connect me with infidelism, etc, etc, while in English I can just get away with it. But then it became clear to me that in English I can have a much wider audience. Um, it all started um, with this feeling of powerlessness and you know sometimes re you reach a point where you feel like you have nothing to contribute with and you have no power. So I, I started searching around for a tool so I can advocate for you know injustice happening here. So I felt like holding a pen could just seem as forceful as holding a um, weapon. So I tried it and it felt really cool. So I continued. When the terrorist is white. There won't be any billboards undermining, corrupting, and tarnishing the image of a whole nation. There wouldn't be generalizing, nor any criminalizing, due to race, discriminate a population. There won't be anyone talking down to a 16-year-old who has nothing to do with chaos. When the criminal is white, it will not be commercialized on the news. No outrageous phantoms to stop celebrated hatred. Nowadays, I fear asserting life as brown as I am, because there's a gun loaded with cynical, hateful vows and a bullet that has made a national hero reaching. Please don't shoot. The world is broken and tainted, stolen and painted into a picture that only some would like to see. When the terrorist is white, there won't be apologies, nor will there be mourning. This is the American good heart, white heart, advocating the interactly satisfied masses. You are the criminals, you are the terrorists, and terrorism only comes in color, they say, but those of color pay. Dare tell me racism is long gone, because I swear I breathe it in whenever I endure it down to breathe upon me. I know that when the world is silent, it is yet rhetorically speaking volumes of truth. Oppression and evilness could really create something good. Not meaning that oppression and evilness are good, but the way they provoke a person who's oppressed and is, you know, opposed or imposed by evilness, it creates this form of perspective that nobody can be able to see besides the oppressed. So for example, my writing, my poetry, I don't expect it to be understood all around the world, but I do expect, expect it to, to be understood by Palestinians because it's so common. When I talk about resistance, when I talk about this general frustration of living in here, I don't expect people who are foreigners to understand it, but I'm trying to make them understand it. My poetry does not merely encourage re resistance as much as it justifies it. Good poetry is like real sad, and you can't really make joyous stuff um, really poetic. At least in my experience, I'm trying and it's really challenging. I bring out some really good imagery from time to time, but it's way more challenging than just writing gloomy poetry. And there's a thing I read somewhere that says, um, pain is good for your art, but bad for your heart or something. Yeah, it's really cool.